In this lesson, we're going to uh, be tackling one of the applications of derivatives, uh, which is optimization. Uh, now, to optimize something, that would be the same as maximizing it or minimizing it, finding optimal solutions, finding where that uh, uh, quantity is in fact minimum or uh, maximum. So, for example, if we were to look at this first exercise here, it says that the cost per items in euros to produce X items is given by C of X uh, equals to uh, that cubic polynomial. So in fact, over here, the cost C represents the cost per item if X items are produced. Now we need to find the number of items that must be produced to minimize uh, the cost per item. So I need to uh, basically find the number of items. So I need to find X for which C is minimum. Now, how do we find uh, the minimum or maximum of uh, a given function? Now, a minimum happens when the function decreases and then it increases. So that would give uh, a relative minimum or a local minimum. Similarly to when the function increases and then it decreases, it would give a relative maximum. So whenever we need to uh, maximize or minimize a certain quantity, what we really need to look for here is uh, the first uh, derivative because it's the first derivative that really uh, determines the sense of variation of uh, the function. So when the first derivative is negative, the function decreases. When the first derivative is uh, positive, uh, the function increases and when the first derivative is zero in that case I would have a horizontal tangent at that point on the curve so if the curve changes variation around that point in that case that point with a horizontal tangent is uh, an extremum it is a minimum or a maximum it really depends on the sense of variation around it however if a derivative, if our first derivative is equals to zero, but the function does not change a variation around it, in that case, I do not have a maximum uh, or a minimum. The curve would still have a horizontal tangent at that point, but it would not really uh, have an extremum. In order to determine where uh, C is minimum, I need to first start by looking for uh, the first derivative of C, to C prime of X, which in this case is 3X squared minus uh, 6X minus 9. Now, if you're not really sure how I found the derivative, it's uh, good to revisit the lesson on derivative functions, where we actually discuss the differentiation rules. So in order to uh, determine if this function admits uh, any type of extremum, whether a maximum or a minimum, I need to start by looking uh, for the roots of the first uh, derivative. So over here, c prime of x is 0 when 3x squared minus 6x minus 9 is equals to 0. So that quadratic polynomial equals to 0. By solving that quadratic polynomial, I should end up with x equals to negative 1 or x equals to uh, 3. However, x represents the number of items that is being produced. So x is in fact positive here. So x equals to negative 1 is rejected, which leaves me with x equals to 3 as the only uh, root of the first derivative in uh, this context. Now, now that we have uh, now that we have our first uh, the roots of our first derivative, I need to uh, study the variations of the function in order to determine whether at x equals to three the function is a minimum, a maximum, or even none. So usually we could do that using two methods. We could either use the first uh, derivative test, which uh, goes uh, by studying the sense of variation of the function all the way to setting up its table of uh, variations and then uh, observe the variations of the function around x equals to 3 in order to determine if that is a maximum or a minimum. Or we could uh, go by the second derivative test. Now, if I know that I have 
in x term at x equals to 3, then knowing that the second derivative uh, does in fact affect the concavity of the function, then if at x equals to 3 the curve or the function is concave up, in that case at x equals to 3 I'd have a minimum. If it's concave down at x equals to 3 I'd have a maximum. So we could do it using both of these methods here. So uh, if I were to start with uh, the second derivative test. So for the second derivative, I'd actually have to find a C double prime. Now for C double prime, that is the derivative of the first one, which is 6x minus 6. So now I'm interested in the nature of the extra mem at x equals to 3. So I start by replacing <coughs> x by 3 in my second derivative. Now that would be 18 minus 6, which is in fact a, a 12. And that is positive. So when the second derivative is positive, that would in fact mean that the function is uh, concave up. So the function being concave up, it means that at x equals to 3, we do have uh, a minimum. So the second derivative at 3 being positive, in that case, we did use that c is minimum at x equals to 3. So to answer the question, we need to produce three items in order for the cost to be minimum. Now, or we could just determine the nature of uh, the extra room by just setting up the table of variation all uh, the way. So the table of variation, we would have x that goes from 0. Now over here, we don't really have an upper bound. We could just take it all the way to positive infinity. So, uh, sorry, this is a table of variation. So that's c prime of x and then this is c of x. We do know that the first uh, derivative is 0 at x equals to 3. Now uh, in order to determine the sign uh, of the first derivative around x equals to 3, all you have to do is just test the first derivative at a given points inside each interval at particular points. So for example here for x uh, equals to 1, since 1 is in the interval 0, 3, by replacing x by 1 in the first derivative, we'd obtain the first derivative to be negative. So the derivative is negative uh, over that interval. However, similarly it would be positive over uh, the next interval. So over here the, deriv uh, the function is decreasing and over here, the function is increasing, having a first derivative to be positive over this interval and negative over the first one. So we complete the table of variation by finding uh, the images at uh, the bounds and at the roots of the derivative. So over here, c of 0 is in fact uh, 3. And at positive infinity, this is a polynomial, so it takes the limit of the term uh, with the highest uh, degree, which is x cubed here, so that is also positive infinity. And of course, you'd uh, basically evaluate the cost function at x equals to 3 in order to find that uh, minimum cost. So you can see that at x equals to 3, the function decreases than increases, so we do have a minimum here. So we can, in fact, deduce the same thing that c is minimum at x equals to 3. So whenever you need to find the nature of an extremum, you could either be using the second derivative test or the first derivative test. But the first derivative test does require you to go all the way into setting up the full table of variation of the given function. However, the second derivative test just work uh, specifically at uh, those given uh, values. So. Uh, over here, this is uh, the first exercise on uh, optimization. Uh, we're going to be uh, solving another uh, exercise that involves a little bit of uh, trigonometry and uh, uh, geometry. So uh, that will be uh, in our following lesson, the lesson that follows uh, this one.